How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome yourselves back to another review on the channel today. As you can see, we've got the foot birthday players in the squads, Habits, Ozil, and the man which we are reviewing today in Antoine Griezmann. Now, lads, look at this. Five-star week for. Will it make a massive difference to the cards? The short answer, yes. The long answer, you're going to have to wait and see. But lads, if you do enjoy it, you know what to do. Bring that hype. Smash that like and subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around here. Make sure you hit that notification bell as well to be notified of every single upload that we do do on the channel. And uh, that would be massively appreciated as well. And check out my socials, Marshall89YT on the Instagram, Marshall89HD on the Twitter. I do stream these on Twitch as well, twitch.tv forward slash Marshall89HD. As for Mr. Anton Griezmann... Look at his record. Speaks volumes. Absolute volumes. All these games were played in for champions. 11 goals in 6 games with the 1 assist. 5 star week for. Of course that is the massive, massive upgrade to this card. It is the 5 star week for. I mean you look at this card and you think, what was his previous? What was his previous? Was it any good? It was 4 star skills, 3 star week for. So you look at that and you look at this and you look at that and you look at this and you think, my good gods. This has to be a good card. And that 5 star week for. If I could like... Relay my thoughts into a sentence about a Griezmann. For me, Griezmann hasn't really been that good since Huge Gorilla bowled out with him in FIFA 16. He hasn't been that good since that game. Lads, he's back. He's back. Not Gorilla. Well, Gorilla could be back. Who knows? But Griezmann, this card is back. 5 for 9, high to high work with left for primarily 4 star skills with that 5 star weak foot. Nice to see by stats. He should be good. I've stuck a Hunter on him, simply to boost the pace and the finishing abilities of the card, because I already believe he's got the dribbling and passing on lockdown. He's got the pace of 80, 86, he's got 87 acceleration, 86 sprint speed, plus 10 on both of them, takes it to 97 and 96, and he is very fast in game. Attack position is there, but he does have high to high work rate, so he's going to be up, he's going to be down, he's going to be sideways, he's going to be everywhere, but his positioning is good as well. 95, he's got 94 finishing, 96 shot power with the chemistry attack, it's actually 86, 87 are long shots with 90 volleys and 91 penalties. The passing is there as well. He's got 92 vision, 88 crossing, 91 free kicks and short pass with 87 long pass and 92 curve. They look phenomenal. They are phenomenal. In terms of dribbling, and I didn't see why he needed a, a like a balance could be boosted, you know. A chem style to boost the balance could be used, but honestly, for a striker, those are amazing. 93 agility, 85 bounce, he's got 95 reactions with 93 ball control, 90 dribbling and 92 composure. Fan, dabby, dozy. In terms of the physicals, he's got 93 jumping with 87, uh, 86 head and accuracy, sorry. And he's got 91 stamina, which for high to high work rates is very good and he rarely runs out of stamina in game. 66 strength and 77 aggression is possibly one of the few or only cons this card does still provide. But lads, with that being said, he's got the traits of finesse shot, flare and outside foot shot. Sensational ones right there. Does he actually have a number one technical dribbler as well? I've never actually went down in terms of those before, but now, with this Griezmann I actually have. But most of them are CPU apart from outside foot shot, flare and the finesse shot. In terms of the player, well, where he's going to play today, basically, he's going to be playing striker on a 4 2 3 1. We've got Havertz, Ursel, and Bailey in the attack with Makaleli and Matthias at CDM. But lads, there's a lot of gameplay to show you, so let's get into that. Let's see how good or how bad Griezmann actually is. Oh, that was sexy. Griezmann. Five star weak foot on his right. Uh, where's the ball? On his left. He scores. Now, he's hitting on his left straight away. Similar to Ozil as well. Ozil likes to hit on his left more often than not too. I, I don't know, man. It's, it's like the outside the foot shot or something. But there, he could have easily banged on his right. But he took, takes it on his left. And he buries it anyway. So, I don't really matter. I don't really matter. But look, it's outside the left. Oh, the power's nuts, man. But it's outside the left foot. Yes, Griezmann. Dude, he's quicker turning, you know. On oh, his right. Finesse. Five star weak foot, boys. Here we go. Dance away, dance away, Griezmann. Dance with me, dance with me, dance with me. Dude, what a finish that was. Right foot back of the net. After the stop and turn. Easy as peas, boys. Azil. Oh my god, what a pass. First time cross, have it. All, all, it's all come from Ursel's past. But look who scored again. Mr. Antoine Griezmann. 
The pass from Ozil was delicate, it was perfect, and it was on his weak foot. The cross comes in, what is it? It's on his weak foot again. Griezmann, mad. Oh, he scores from the corner anyways. This Griezmann could well be cracked. Ozil. Griezmann again, right foot. People's not expecting it, boys. They're really not expecting too much from his right foot. So I get a chance to use right foot. You can finesse it, blast it. That time was a uh, finesse. Golasso. Ozil again. Havertz. Griezmann! Dude, he's faster than everything he does, man. Dude, he's playing really well for me right now. That's... This is the third game I've played with him. That's his sixth goal so far. A lovely drag back and an amazing finish as well. The power is unbelievable. Griezmann, I'm looking for good movements. Drop back a little bit, just... Mm, that'll do. Great movement. He dropped back a little bit too early because I wanted the defender to run on him and drop back and get a tap in that way. But he dropped back and then ran. I love that movement, man. Positioning-wise, sensational as well. Griezmann! Nah! I haven't just done that. I haven't just chip, chip, chipped it into the net. Wow. You know, like the... Oh, he's got a chance again, Griezmann. I was just about to say... Do you remember the days Gorilla, huge Gorilla, used Antoine Griezmann on uh, FIFA 16, maybe 17 as well? And he bossed with him? He's back. He's back. This is like 50, yeah, FIFA 16. He, he's back to that, that best, the best he's been. That was amazing. So there we have it then, lads, for another review on the channel today. The second review of today, if you missed the early one, it was uh, Mesut Ozil. Make sure you check that out. Make sure you check out the ASM one as well, Alan St. Maximan. That went up last night. But as for striker, or cam, wherever you want to play him in the attack, you can play in any of those positions. Antoine Griezmann and his 92-foot birthday, he lives up to the hype. He really does. Now, I've got this card thinking, you know what? Uh, it's Griezmann. He's going to be good. I didn't expect him to be that good, which, um, honestly, it, it, it's like he's a crap card. And what I mean by a crap card is broken beyond his stats. You see his stats on the screen, and you think, they're good. Lads, they are good. They are really good in game. Uh, from his, his pace, the acceleration is nice. His sprint speed's not too bad. I did use a hunter on him, so he did feel very fast in game. Uh, he's shooting literally incredible. From the finishing to the shot power, which you would have seen during the clips, to his new right foot, which um, feels like a new release of life. It's went from a three star, I do believe, to a five star, or a four star to a five star, and it's just, it, it, it's absolutely incredible, lads. Absolutely incredible what he's capable of now. Um, I'll tell you actually what he went from. Yeah, he went from a three star to a five star, boys. Three star to a five star, and you can definitely notice that in game. And definitely, definitely notice that, and that will be one of the pros today. The new five star weak parts. As for the rating, I don't think I'm going beyond um, expectations. I don't I think I'm going like beyond um, what's like reality for this card. Lads, 9.7 is what I'm gonna give him. 9.7 is a very fair rating for what he brought. He brought goals, he brought creativity, he brought great movements, he just brought the hype basically, and he was fantastic in the attack and third. 9.7 is fully, fully deserved based on his abilities and what goes against him. What goes against him then? His strength. He's still not that strong, but a lot. He is so evasive, it's absolutely unbelievable. So strength is 66, aggression 77. So his aggression's up there. It's just his strength is not good. And you can see by like the, the shoulder to shoulder attempts to win the ball back when you're, you're struggling with your opponent, stuff like that, you will get pushed off this ball. There's, there's no doubt about it. But if you're evasive, you do a drag back, you do a ball roll, you do a spin, you do a stop and turn, you do a, a bit of left stick movements. You're beyond your opponent every single time because he is very, very quick on the ball. He's a dribbling striker on this game and gives you an extra dimension. As for the value for coins, 
right now as me doing this review, he's 1.2 million on the Xbox. I think that's a fair price. I think the 1.2 million is a fair price. 1.6 million on PlayStation. It's probably like 400k overpriced. I believe he's like a 1.2 slash 1.1 million player on this game. Uh, he's back. He's back. Gorilla would be very happy to hear that. But uh, Griezmann, he's back in full effect. It just feels like Griezmann of old has returned to the game. And it's um, it's revitalizing, man. It really is very refreshing to have someone of his ability to be able to uh, kind of adapt to the game and just suit the game very, very well. As for the enjoyments, 9.6 again with a lack of five star skills and like stuff like that and stats I, I didn't believe I I'd give him such a high rate. I thought it'd be like a 9 8.8 .8, something like that 9.6 you would have seen the enjoyment on my face Not right now, but uh, during the gameplay last during the gameplay. Uh, I, I loved it man I loved it. I just I enjoy I won nearly every single game of the six games I think I lost one one game and there was one game where he didn't score in, and that was the final one. And um, he played six games, scored 11 times. So basically, he played five games, scored 11 times. That's how good he was for me in those Foot Champions matches. So as for a kind of status in Foot Champions, he would be a starter. He wouldn't be on the bench, he wouldn't be uh, not used in Foot Champions. He would be a starter every single time. Uh, games played, I've already went through this. Six games played, 11 goals and one assist. Basically, five games played uh, with 11 goals. He scored a 10, 9.4. And 9.7 in his first three games. As for Lynx, he's got a perfect one. Can you guys name it? I was going to like wait a little bit, but lads, you'll be not able to know that. It's Usman Dembele. Purple link to Usman Dembele. And that is a great link to this card. Usman Dembele is RTTF. And uh, he's got good links to him. A perfect link, of course. He's got strong links in that division. Uh, Gamiero? There'll be others as well. Uh, he's got weak links in other divisions, from likes of Alan St. Maximin to Kylian Mbappe to uh, uh, Paul Pogba to N'Golo Kante. French are a very strong nation on this game. And of course, he, he links into a lot of La Liga players, and La Liga is a very strong uh, division now. You've got like Sergio Ramos, uh, that moments card is literally nuts. Diego Carlos, you've got um, the midfielders, like you've got Shapeshifter Phil and Mendy. Honestly, you can build a massive, massive team with La Liga these days. In terms of the pros, dribbling, the movement, finishing that stamina, because he's got high to high work rates, he needs good stamina. He's got good stamina. And of course, the brand new spanking five star weak farts. And the con, literally just one con, and it is his strength. Uh, he is still quite weak, which uh, I, I could have told you going into this review, he's going to be weak, and he was weak in game with the LC kind of shielding. As for the traits, He's got three usable for you guys. Flare, finesse shot, and outside of foot shots. As for over 100k, um, Neymar's still better than this card. The headline of Neymar is better than this card, in my personal opinion, at the cam slash striker position. Or uh, just kind of a versatile attacker, basically. Griezmann comes in number two with Bruno Fernandes in at number three. That's kind of the, the bracket is around those types of players. And under 100k, Nobody comes close. There's nobody comes close to this card. That's under 100k right now, so he's in a league of his own. In terms of passing, it's a 9. The shooting will be a 9. The physical will be a 7. And the dribble will be a 9. As the skill moves, it remains 4 star. The weak foots went from 3 star to 5 star. Absolutely outrageous. Uh, high to high work rates, which it ensures good movements. I mean, he's up, he's down, he's, he's given his all to attack, he's given his all to defense. And that makes him kind of free in the game. He's going to be free for the majority of the match. And if you find him in space, you can definitely punish your opponent, which I did many times today, 11 times in total. Yeah, 5.9 in terms of height, he's, he's going to win headers, though. He's got 93 jumping, so he will win headers. It's just, uh, he, I did score one as well. He's accurate. Hitting on this game sucks from time to time. And um, you can still score them, though. You can still score them. Uh, left foot primarily, but he does have a five-star weak foot. And what I will mention with that is that he does have the outside of foot shot traits. So if you kind of... You want him to get it onto his right foot for the finesse, and then you decide not to finesse and you decide to bang it. He will outside of left foot shot, so he'll kind of whip it like that with the outside of his left foot instead of finessing it or just banging it with his right foot. But if you want to finesse it with his right foot, he'll definitely do that. And if you take too long, he's going to open his body up and hit it with his left. So just watch out for that. Um, that's something that goes against the card as well. And something that goes against a lot of these cards, it just seems unnatural hitting it with their weak parts. But um, it's still very, very effective as you have seen during the game. Key Pro will be the finishing, the Key Con will be the strength. The best chem style will be a recommended chem style for myself. I recommend Hunter. The best chem style for the ring per position will be a number of different ones like Marksman and stuff like that. But I definitely, strongly recommend Hunter for this card. 94 center forwards, uh, 94 left forward, 93 striker left wing and cam. But it's not that. 
it's the stats that get increased. The pace gets increased, the shooting gets increased, and especially if you're going to play him striker, Hunter is definitely, definitely recommended. Uh, what else is recommended? Washing your hands, keeping a safe distance from each other. Uh, lads, hope you're safe right now. Hope you're doing well. I stress this every single video, but honestly, it's a weird place in the world right now, isn't it? It's very, very strange. But lads, hope you're safe, hope you're well, hope you're positive right now. And um, lads, we'll catch you all in the next review. Hope you have enjoyed this one. A like would be very much appreciated from you guys. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around here. Make sure you hit that bell as well. And lads, I will catch you all next time.